Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and guys, I want to welcome you to another day of full tea. We have a lot of videos for you coming today, and you don't want to miss all the tea that is happening. And let's start our day talking about the Real Housewife Ultimate Girls Trip because it is giving us literally life. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Ray Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. You know how important it is to hit the notification bell. We have at least six videos every day of pure tea happening, okay? And you do not want to miss them, all right? So click over there even if you are already subscribed. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, <clears throat> if you are not watching Ultimate Girl Strip, I don't know what is happening. What is wrong with you? Okay, because this show is one of the best pieces of reality TV that has ever been done. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how Andy did it again. Like, this is like insane. Remember how... Andy Cohen at some point uh, said something like, oh, if we ever do like a, a like a, a crossover, like an all-stars, that will be the end of Housewife. Well, bitch, he was wrong. Just as wrong as he was when he almost passed off of Real Housewife of Orange County, okay? Because <clears throat> this is pure magic, okay? Honestly, this is one of those shows that I'm just loving it. Okay, it's giving us realness, it's giving us not uh, a four wall, it's giving us, um, you know, the tea, um, and it's just great. And this fourth episode, guys, I'm going to try to not spoil it to you guys too much, but there are spoilers ahead, so if you are watching it, just be careful. I mean, it's not like it is a movie, okay, but anyways, um, girl... This fourth episode gave me everything. It was like all the tea that we were we were waiting for because they completely broke the four wall. Like they they took that down, they wrecked that shit down. Like they were like we don't have. Like, I mean, it was a lot. Okay, um, they talk about their experiences as a housewife. They talk about their experiences on each one of their shows. They talk about their friendships. Um. It, it was just, it was very good, okay? Just to give you like a little hint, uh, Teresa talks about her relationship with Jacqueline Lorita and how and why that all went to hell, okay? And you can see, you can see that Teresa is deeply affected by it, okay? She's like, that bitch crossed me and I was her best friend and she was my best friend and she crossed me, Okay? Then we have Cynthia talking about her relationship with Nini, almost with tears on her eyes. Like you can hear it on her voice, how that situation went down. Like it is super sad. Uh, Luan talking about everything that happened with Bethany when Bethany uh, showed her the picture with Tom. Um, you know, basically, Luan is saying that, or is, she is implying that Bethany did it just for the cameras, you know, and just to get ratings, but uh, that's not like a real friend will do. But I'm just saying, like, bitch, <clears throat> she put, I mean, this was, this is housewife history right there in that moment, you know, remembering the moment when, you know, you are seeing the pictures of your husband kissing another girl. That's what we need, Okay. So if you are not ready for that to happen, then don't sign up for a reality show, okay? When you sign this, there is no privacy. There is no talk to me first. No, bitch, no, it's not gonna happen. But anyways, of course, Luan is deeply affected by it and she, you know, talks some shit about Bethany. And then also we have Kyle talking about Lisa Vanderpump, okay? And, um... <clears throat> 
even though she doesn't really go too deep into it and 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 um kenya gives like her opinion and actually interesting you would think that kenya would be like girl i got you i know you now i got you i understand you kyle she actually went on and said i understood both parts so like i hear both of the, both of you and i understand where each one of you are coming from and i'm telling you because you can say it on the way that kyle talk about it especially on the confessional I'm telling you, Kyle still has a soft spot for Lisa Vanderpump on her heart. And it's just a matter of time that those two agree to see each other, hopefully on camera, but agree to see each other. Because I know that also Lisa Vanderpump has still a lot of love for Kyle. And that's just... No matter how much you hate Kyle, no matter how much you don't like Lisa Vanderpump, no matter what, it is what it is. Those two are meant to be friends and this, it will, it will, it will pass. And the way that Kyle was talking about Lisa, yes, I mean, you can see that she's still very like sad about the whole situation. Okay. And that she probably regrets uh, some stuff. But anyways, um, yes, there is a lot of happening. Guys, this episode. I haven't go through a roller coaster of emotions so hard as in, 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 in a very long time on any Housewife franchise until yesterday when I saw the fourth episode. It make you question yourself. It make you like, like ask, you know, questions, you know, like, are, are you following the right people? Do you understand these girls? You know, you see them for who they actually are. It is just insane. And then you laugh. I haven't laughed, like really like laugh. Like I was rolling on my couch laughing in that episode. And that hasn't happened on a franchise like in a long time. Like sometimes you see something that's funny and you're like, eh, yeah, that's funny. But that's it. But like actually like laughing, like they make you laugh. I haven't feel that in a very long time. And this is, this is gold. Guys, I'm just telling you, this is gold that you have to watch. I'm, I'm literally going to rewatch that episode. Uh, probably the whole show, once it's all out, I just want to rewatch it all like straight, you know? Um, <clears throat> but it is so good. Um, so people are thinking that because these ladies don't know each other, okay, uh, they, don't, they haven't built walls or they haven't built, you know, like that... Uh, I got your back, you know, or anything. So they they are not letting anyone get away with anything. They are calling each other out. There is drama, but there is stupid drama. Nobody's trying to take anyone down. So it's like it's like the magic of the pure housewife, you know? Like, this is like a fantastic movie, you know? Like, you have the energy of the pure housewife show right there before the whole fame came, before the whole, I, I, I have to destroy that marriage and I have to destroy that person or I have to take someone down for ratings or, you know, so it is like so pure because you, you have drama. Yes, a lot of drama since like literally five minutes into the first episode, you're already having drama, but it's such a stupid drama that it is easy to move on from it, okay? So you don't feel like, oh, they're trying to destroy this person or that person, no. And they all go through their own personal like relationships, and I, it, it's just gold. Honestly, like I don't know. Well, everything happened for a reason, you know. You can say I don't know why they they took so long to do this, but everything happened for a reason. And right now, the moment is perfect. This show is perfect and is giving us everything. Okay, so if you are not watching, I recommend one hundred percent. Go download Peacock. It's just four ninety nine a month watch it you're still gonna need it because miami is coming next so and then season two so girl no you need to get peacock all right and if you are outside the united states i know that there are some streaming services i don't know the names uh but you can google it that they are gonna be showing ultimate girl strip and i think by the end of november is gonna be streaming in like a lot of places around the world so <clears throat> get ready for that and if you are watching Tell me how good it is. 
Tell me that you are not enjoying this show because I know that you are. No matter if you hate Ramona, no matter if you hate Kenya, no matter if you hate Kyle, like whatever you think, this show is just changing perspectives for everyone. And I'm loving it, honestly. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.